Chris with South Carolina Gun School and just want to do a quick video today because I know there's been some kids out there that probably got their uh, first rifle for Christmas or a BB gun or whatever it might be and uh, I've seen some pictures being posted with them and stuff and some videos being posted and I want to do this real quick to make sure everybody understands um, how to properly hold the rifle, BB gun, whatever it might be. Uh, especially for the ones that this being their first gun to make sure we're teaching them properly. Uh, I've got my daughter Chloe here with me uh, to help out just so you can kind of see uh, what I've done with her and the work that I've done. Uh, she's got a Ruger 1022, so not a very heavy rifle. She loves to shoot it. I love to shoot it. It's a, a fun gun to shoot. If it's something, if you're ready to make a step up from a BB gun, it's a very good step. Uh, but for ones getting BB guns, same stance grip and everything still applies. And I just want to make sure that, that I'm helping everybody out, making sure we're doing it correctly. So when they do start moving up into uh, higher caliber guns and rifles and stuff, that everything, the fundamentals still stay the same. So Chloe, if you will, go ahead. I want you to get in the stance like you're about to shoot. There you go. We're going very good, very good. You notice she's not leaning back or anything like that. She's nice and straight. I would like to see just a little bit, there we go. Just a little bit straighter. Well, you don't want to be slouched back. You don't want to be leaning back like this or anything like that, trying to look down the gun, all right? You don't have to be back here at the back of the gun to look down and look at the sights. Her head's nice and forward on the cheek well. She can get a good sight through her iron sights right here. See, she's out on the group forward grip here. If she wanted to, she could bring that grip back to kind of help stabilize it a little bit more. So slide your hand back, see how it brings everything. Notice that elbows down, she's not chicken winging it or anything like that. Everything is nice and tight. So straighten back up, there we go, see? You want everything nice and straight. I know you can't really see her feet. She's just a little offset, not in a big, huge weaver stance where you're standing off to the side. All right, you can go ahead and lower that. So you see you want everything to be nice and straight. Um, let me see your rifle for a second. What I've been seeing a lot of is we're in a big huge weaver stance like this, which you want to be still kind of squared up, maybe just a little offset. But I see a lot of people that want to do this. See I'm back here on this cheek well, I'm almost at the back. You don't have to do this to look down. You want to be nice and straight, get the head forward on that cheek well, and then you're using this and this to pull it nice and tight. Everything's nice and tight. You're not chicken winging anything out. Everything's nice and tight in the shoulders. You're in a good aggressive stance. So close one more time. Let's show everybody one more time. Very good. Very good. Let's just, there we go. See, she's not leaning back. Everything's nice and straight. Shoulders are almost squared up. Feet are squared up. Hips are squared up on the target. She's got a good grip, good stable grip here on the forward, and she can move it hand around if she wants to, depending on what she's shooting at. She needs to raise and lower everything. So very good job. Thank you, baby. Go ahead and lower that. That's what you want to do, whether it be, again, BB gun, pellet gun, 22, AR, whatever's going on. Need to make sure that we're practicing and teaching them the right way to do things. Don't have them leaning back. Get them in a good aggressive stance. Same thing for the people that have gotten their first AR. For the ones that have gotten their first AR, that stance isn't going to change. You're going to, everything's going to be squared up. The same stance that I do with my pistols, I do with my rifles. It'll be nice and squared up, maybe a little offset on the feet. Everything's nice and squared up in the shoulder right in this little crease here. Sometimes I'll even move it a little bit more over to my chest just to give me a better aggressive stance. Elbows are nice and tucked in. Everything's nice and tight. I don't want to be chicken winged out. Nice and straight and ready to go. And just so you can see, all these rifles are clear. I don't have anything in the way over here. Nothing in them. I just want to be nice and tight. Again, not back here like this or back here like this even for my left-handed people not going to be any different for my left-handed people everything's going to be squared up nice and tight 
See, I'm even back. I like to be back on my mag roll here. It just feels more comfortable. I feel a little bit more stable. So left-handed, right-handed. All right. That grip's always the same. So for the ones that have gotten handguns, for you that have gotten handguns, let me clear my mouth here. Got everything nice and clear. So for your handguns, you're going to take this, this little back strap, beaver tail, whatever you want to call it, get nice and high up in there. You don't want any space. No space so this thing can move around. You want nice and high. Even with this, see I've got a little bit of fat pinched up. It's not going to do anything. Alright, so nice and high in the back strap here. And I'm wrapping my fingers around. Finger goes right above the trigger. I use this little groove here just so I know I'm off that trigger. You can go up on the slide if you want to. I just like this little groove right here. And then you see I've got everything nice and open right here. Alright, I'm not using this thumb groove. Don't put your thumb in here. A lot of people want to do this for first time handgun users. They want to put their thumb in that little thumb groove. I wish they'd never put these things in here. And then they bring this hand over the top and as you can see, let me get in here, see how much space there is between this hand and this gun right here. So what you want to do is put that thumb up and out of the way. So thumb up and out of the way, and then this fat portion of your palm right here. You're going to stick your arm out, tilt it down, that's locking that wrist in, and then you see it fills that in right there, and I run my thumbs right down the side of the gun. So again, thumbs down the side of the gun. It's not going to pinch you while it's shooting. You don't have to worry about that. So thumb up and out of the way. Lock that wrist in. Right down the side of the gun. Everything's nice and tight. Now I'll scoot over a little bit. You see I'm just nice and straight. You're not stopping here and then going down to the gun. You control the gun. The gun doesn't control you. So when you're here, everything's to your eye level. Nice and tight, good sight, good alignment. And then you're just going to give it a good squeeze. All right. So I just wanted to do something to kind of help everybody out there for this being your first handgun or rifle or kids getting their first BB gun. Teach them right. Get them in a good aggressive stance where they're stable. So Chloe, one more time, if you'll step back up here for me. Oh, you're fine. There you go. Good. Bring this hand back just a little bit. Out a little far. Going back a little bit. See how much more stable that makes you feel? So you see, nice and straight. Forward on the, the cheek well here. Able to get a good side alignment, side picture. Good, stable, squared up. She's not leaning back, so I'm going to push you back. This is not what you want. This is what I'm seeing a lot. You don't want this. Nice and straight. Squared up a little bit more. Right there. Good. I want everything nice and squared up. Alright, you can go ahead and relax. Everything nice and squared up. I can't preach that enough. Squared up, not leaning back. As they start shooting, teach them to lean into that gun or push themselves into the gun. Don't go when I see a lot of people will start shooting. Bang, 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 and then they're back here like this. So you don't want to be back here like that. Alright, you might start out good and you end up bad. Start out good, stay good. Same thing with a handgun. Lean into it a little bit as you're shooting so it's not pushing you back. Remember, you control your gun, your gun doesn't control you. Alright? You control this. Everything. I know I get people asking me too one more thing with the pistols. How do I do my grip? I've told people have told me 50 50, 60 40, 70 30. Everybody, guns are like martial arts. Everybody's got their own philosophy to it. Sometimes I think I piss people off because I'm not, I don't follow that 70 30, whatever. 100% of your dominant hand, 100% of your non dominant hand. That's what holds the gun. Now, I don't mean 100% to where you're trembling and shaking. You're not trying to choke the life out of it. Just a good, firm grip to control the gun. 
Remember, I can't preach this enough. You control the gun, the gun doesn't control you. You need to teach your kids that same thing. Teach them that same concept. They need a good, aggressive stance. Start them young so they keep it. Start them right when they're young so they keep it going. I'm constantly drilling this in with her when she's out shooting. Constantly. She's getting more and more better at it. Getting a good, aggressive stance. But sometimes you got to remind people. Sometimes I have to be reminded. So practice good stance. All right? Practice proper trigger control. Just a steady squeeze to the rear. You don't want to start jerking, slapping, things like that. We sit here and go into that on a whole different tangent. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want people to really focus on the grip and the stance right now. That's the most important thing that I'm seeing is everybody's not gripping it right. And their stances are all back here. They're all weaver and lean back like this. Good aggressive stance. Please, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to upset anybody. I just want to teach everybody the right way to do things to make sure you're showing your kids the proper way to do things. Teach them right. Teach them young. Get them started. And it'll really help them as they progress through shooting. If you have any questions or concerns or need help with anything, please feel free to reach out to us. All our contact information is going to be listed below. It's listed on the website. Don't forget, we've still got our year-end sale going on until the 4th. Uh, we're also going to be at the Anderson, South Carolina Gun Show this weekend. We're going to be offering some deals and stuff for people that sign up there. Come by and check us out. We'll have some videos playing. We've got other videos out on the YouTube page that you can go and watch. But again, teach them right. Good stance. Good grip. All right? Can't stress this enough. Got to make sure we teach them right, especially when we're starting them young. You don't want any bad habits forming over time. Because if we get everything right the first time, we won't have to go back and change it up and make it all awkward and weird again. So again, if you need help, let us know. If you have questions, let us know. Please reach out to us. Uh, again, I want to thank all the subscribers, all the supporters. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. We're continuing to grow day over day. So please continue to like, share, and comment on the videos. Thank you all very much. Hope you all had a great holiday. Hope you all have a safe and happy new year. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.